get a whole bunch of food this time since I don't come here often. So let's see what I bought from 99 Ranch Market. $75 groceries and I think like almost $20 of duck. Oh, the crap is running away. Half a duck because that's all they had left running out. They gave me some free buns that I made. We got some watercress right here. Broccoli, Chinese celery. Got some lemon puff, pop pan, Fuji apples, organic, bean custard, whatever the heck this is called for a minute, bean curd. You got some um, Napa. What's this? Sour mustard, whole catfish, uh, two bass, lemon, orange, all that goodies. 99 Ranch Market. I'm cooking some fried rice right here. Now I'm gonna cook stir fry, bitter melon, and I'm gonna add some eggs later. So here I added two whole eggs, added some soy sauce. Get the melon. Okay, my fried rice looks ready and done. It's dry. Come up over here, I added two eggs to my bitter melon. Later, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar because it's a little bit too bitter. So let's scramble this egg. Okay, let's scramble to a new place. I'm gonna add a spoon of sugar because bitter melon is bitter. And then done guys that's gonna be a delicious lunch and dinner so here's my Saturday lunch small baby pompano that's been baked in the oven that's the egg stir fry with bitter melon with sugar added for a lighter taste and the egg fried rice for a complete well-balanced lunch Okay, let's see what I'm steaming today for dinner. Oh wow, it's a very nice bass fish that I got from 99 Ranch Market. Mmm, looks so delicious. So here's a typical nutritious Saturday night dinner. Steamed bass fish, egg fried rice, bitter melon stir fried with eggs. Check this out. If you're not accustomed to what this is, this is how the Chinese people eat their roast duck. Wrap them in this nice little uh, flour bun. It's like a nice little small duck hamburger. Roast duck with a crispy skin and a gamey taste. Goes so well with this. You can find it at your gourmet Chinese restaurant. So delicious wrapping them like this. It's like the Chinese version of uh, tacos, I guess. And of course, let's not forget our vegetables. So I'm steaming some broccoli. It's very simple and easy to cook. It tastes great with a little bit of olive oil and some uh, soy sauce. All right, let's see what I'm having for lunch right now. Got some egg fried rice right here that I cooked up last night. Got some steamed broccoli, and this is the uh, roast duck that I got from 99 Ranch Market. A very nice uh, leg piece right there for a healthy, well-balanced lunch. Check it out, guys. Today I'm stir frying one of my favorite Asian vegetables. is Chinese celery. So these are very long plants compared to the American style. And once I'm pretty much done, I might be adding some of this fermented bean curd for flavoring. The option is also adding shrimp paste, but that's more expensive, so I decided, decided to go with the curd option. And here's what the bean curd looks like. It might be a little bit too much of flavoring. I'm going to mix this up real good. And then it's going to be a delicious, healthy part of my dinner. Let's see what I'm cooking today. 
gotta finish my Chinese celery and stir fry shrimp is always good. Pan fried shrimp, I'm gonna add some water, some moisture. Otherwise, it's just the other cook it. See that? Flip it over it. Do the same, but the other side is going to come out golden orange. And that's the beautiful texture I'm looking for. Ooh, wee. Look at how beautifully I plated this. Succulent, tasty, healthy. Chinese celery cooked with fermented bean curd for a nice flavor. Egg fried rice on the bottom, lying on the bed. as a beautifully crafted stir fried shrimp resting on top of the head for a delicious, full, nutritious, and healthy dinner. This is the way to go. Home cooking, baby. It's not every meal that I get to enjoy something that takes a little bit longer to prepare so that's why I went ahead with this healthy choice cafe steamers beef teriyaki typically I eat these for breakfast while I'm at work and even from working from home I need something quick so as you can see it's got beef teriyaki tenderloins with rice carrots chest wild chestnuts love wild chestnut teriyaki sauce and it's actually pretty nice um, it heats up real easy you don't need to peel the film or anything like that so I added a bunch of these nuts that you see right here that I got from uh, Big Lots huge container of these mixed nuts for nine dollars definitely a great deal to add some crunch extra protein that's gonna be a simple and quick breakfast or brunch I have a real nice and simple lunch right here my stomach wasn't feeling all that great so I'm drinking some can of the dry ginger ale this is just regular thin spaghetti egg noodles with four big shrimp along with some Chinese yu choy with oyster sauce on top for a well-balanced happy meal because I'm working right now so I can't cook anything extravagant. Something quick and simple and delicious. Let's see what I'm steaming today. Why is a nice big piece of tilapia. Stir frying some Chinese yu chow. Start your vegetables. So right here, excuse the mess of my kitchen, I have a steamed tilapia head. I got tired of eating steamed rice, so I'm putting some egg fried rice and start frying some big shrimp. We look at this beautiful dish. Golden orange prawns or shrimp with that egg stir fried rice and some simple boiled yu choy with some oyster sauce on top. A quick and delicious dinner. We look at this beautifully crafted plate of goodies right here. This is my brunch for a Sunday. Got some egg fried rice, boiled green beans and broccoli. I know it's preferred to be uh, steamed, but just boiling it, it's a lot quicker. And then some stir-fried shrimp for a delicious brunch. Stir-frying some romaine lettuce. Cut them into small pieces so it's easier to cook. And this nice piece of New York strip. Today I'm cooking some kanji, adding some of this ground beef. That's the protein. Typically I like fish slices, but today I'm working with some beef. Last time I did some chicken. This has been uh, cooking for about 30 minutes or low. It's gonna turn out real good. And some um, olive oil and some salt and garlic powder. All right, let's see what I'm cooking today for lunch. It's gonna be some big meat products such as this huge rack of beef ribs that I marinated with soy sauce, garlic, 
powder, salt, crushed red pepper and soy sauce. I'm gonna wrap this up real good. I should have got a longer piece. We're gonna put this right here, right next to this young chicken. Marrow name was the same thing, so I put some, uh, what do you call these, rosemary on there. Got some orange and lemon peel inside, right inside the body. That's gonna be real good. Let's put this right here. And it should be done in about 50 minutes. Let's see how it turned out. Wow. Let's get these ribs. No, I got. Delicious, homey, homey. Let's see what I'm growing up today. Nice, healthy, green asparagus using this Sanyo electric grill. It's portable and so convenient. And I like that char broil mark, the grill mark that it makes. Wow, these asparagus turned out real well, real good. Check out that grill mark. Added some uh, olive oil and some salt and garlic powder. Alright, so let's see how the beef ribs turn out. Oh my goodness, look at that texture. Slightly crispy on the outside, look at the juicy meat on the inside. Man, that looks so delicious. Add some uh, sriracha and A1 sauce to it. It's going to be enticing dinner. I want to share this delicious dinner with you. Grilled asparagus, two delicious juicy beef ribs, and egg stir fry rice. Delicious. Let's see what's for dinner today. Oh yeah, I'm steaming some broccoli and green beans. Added some olive oil, crushed red pepper, and garlic salt. Don't forget to eat your vegetables, kids! So this is how the vegetable turned out. Perfection! And this is my plate of dinner. Got the vegetables, that broiled beef ribs, that chicken that I cooked, and some to go with some steamed rice. Simple, healthy, and delicious.